<clears throat> oh. Sorry I'm so late. Well, that's quite all right. You'll find everything here on the desk. Oh, thanks. Won't take long. Uh, what does this old fool want to fight the divorce for? Man hasn't a chance with a woman like that. Who? Mrs. White? Well, who else? Where are my notes? Is he there? Oh, good. Nothing the matter with me that calls for anything that strong. Stockings, I mean. It depends on what sort you buy. Hmm. Well, I'd better tackle Mrs. White's marital difficulties. <clears throat> Case is open and shut. Uh, notes for the uh, direct examination of Mrs. White. Uh, how much do I pay you? What? What salary do I pay you? $35 a week. As much as it? $5 more than the last place. Well, isn't it difficult to uh, live on that sum? Difficult, perhaps, but I manage. Hmm. Uh, do you live at home? No. I share a furnished apartment with two other girls. Well, how do you manage to clothe yourself on your salary? Many girls do it on less. Dirty, crowded basements, bargain sales. Make things yourself. Mm. Presents, I suppose. My Aunt Alice sent me a nightgown Christmas two years ago. Do you intend to get married? I have no very definite ideas about it. You do have some friends. I work very hard all day. Often at night. My opportunities for meeting nice men are very limited. Sometimes I doubt there are any. And if I were interested in any man I happen to know at the moment, why, I'd hide that interest. But your future? It doesn't include a husband. Good. What did you say? I have a proposal to make which may brighten your future a little. Marry me. What? I said you could help yourself by marrying me. You're asking me to marry you? Just that. You heard how Sheridan manages? Well, I want some of the freedom and security that he has. Now, you'd have more money than you have now, lots of nice clothes, and a chance to travel. Mostly travel. Oh, I thought perhaps you'd like to travel. So I would. With my husband. Oh, but you'd enjoy yourself. You couldn't help it. And you'd have all the lovely things... That I've stood in front of shop windows and wanted. Exactly. Well? No. I can't do it. A little while ago I said I had no definite plans about marriage. Perhaps I should have said no one wanted to marry me. Oh, don't misunderstand me. But I have an idea of the sort of marriage I'd like. I've thought about it often. Oh, but this wouldn't be a real marriage. It would be all the marriage I'd have. And the marriage I've pictured for myself doesn't start out with my husband putting on a wedding ring with one hand 
and handing me a railroad ticket with the other. Uh, I've hurt you. Oh, I'm sorry. I just thought that you'd look upon it as merely a better job. I'm in an awful jam. It would be doing me a great favor. We can hardly take that into account. It's getting late. Won't you please finish your dictation? <clears throat> oh, I can't work tonight. I'll have to try and get another postponement. Well, then I'll go now. Good night. Good night. Oh, uh... Sleep on it. Perhaps you'll feel differently in the morning. I don't see how I can. that guy keep you late again? Not late. It's midnight. Yes, I know, but I've been walking. Walking since 9.30. Walking? Alone? Yes. Trying to think. Oh, what's the use? None. Did a man ever try and seduce you? Don't get alarmed. Nothing's happened. Then what are you talking about? Something I had this morning that I've lost. My pride. My belief in myself. <laughs> I knew I was no beauty, but I... Wouldn't it be dreadful to be seduced? Well, I've discovered something infinitely worse. Finding out that nobody wants to. How did you find out that nobody wants to? I did. How? Stanton asked me to marry him. Oh! He's in a jam. Then he took one look at me and said I could travel alone. Well, what's wrong with that? If he asked me like that, what's wrong with it, I don't know. Hello, dear. Bobby, uh, Bobby, Stanton wants to marry Sylvia. What? Yes, it's on the level. It isn't a pipe dream. What do you think of that? Gee, I'm glad somebody around here gets a break. Oh, Sylvia, it'll be a thrill just thinking about you. Buying clothes, getting your hair and face fixed so they look like something. And not worrying over the fact that it costs half your make. But, Bobby, Is he nice? Are you in love with him? How'd it happen? Oh, say something. What's the matter? I used to think he was awfully nice. He isn't. No, I'm not in love with him. He's even less in love with me. He just happens to need a wife. What's the matter? Is he going to become a father? No. He wants to marry me to keep from marrying someone else. Oh, why can't I meet a guy like that? He wants her to travel. Live outside of New York, I suppose. Any strings? I don't think so. He's not offering you marriage, dearie. He's offering you heaven. Oh, good morning. Stanton. I've been thinking. So have I. Have you seen this? Yes, I've seen it. Well, are you going to help me out? Well... I can't see why you'd regret it. Now, come. Sit down. We'll draw up a sort of a rough contract. 
give us a better idea of what we're about. We can do that. Yes. Um, the, uh, the marriage of Gaylord Stanton and uh, Sylvia Brenner is to stand for one year as per contract. You see, you're not tying yourself up for life. Oh, our marriage is to be different from most. <laughs> well, anyway, we won't have to fight our way out of it. That's something. Indeed it is. Sylvia Brenner is to receive $5,000 a year, paid in advance, and may live wherever she chooses. Anywhere? Why not? Sylvia Brenner will go by the name of Mrs. Gaylord Stanton, and uh, will in no way blemish that name. I know. Go ahead and say it. You look well in the contract. Well, what do you say? Yes? Anything you want to wear? Well, there's, there's just one thing. It's, it's rather difficult to put in words. Well, but uh, this won't be a real marriage. It'll be, well, it's just a pretense. I know. We, you wouldn't expect, uh, well, uh, will it be married in name only? Oh, not in fact. <laughs> That's agreeable. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh, just at the way you put it. Well, then, everything's settled. Now, let's see, what are my engagements? I'd like to make it today. Would that be all right? Yes. I want to get out of town tomorrow. Oh, I should dine at the Lacey's tonight. Well, I can break away early. Uh, suppose I pick you up, uh, say, 10.30 tonight. Anything you say. Good. Well, uh, I'll go now. You, you don't mind. No, no, of course not. Oh, uh, uh, you'd better call up the agency and get me another secretary. And uh, stay and show her what to do? Mm-hmm. I know a very confident girl who might like the job. Good. Oh, uh... Stop at City Hall and pick up a marriage license. 10.30 tonight. <laughs> 